Hello, how to solve this nice exponential equation? We have p to the power of 12 plus p to the power of 8 equals to 36. We have solution. So, p to the power of 12, we can rewrite this as p to the power of 4 or to the power of 3 plus p to the power of 8. We can rewrite this as p to the power of 4 or to the power of 2 equals to 36. So right now, the next step is for us to rearrange this. So we can have p to the power of 4 or to the power of 3 plus p to the power of 4 or to the power of 2 minus 36 is equals to 0. So we can split down this 36 and we are going to have p to the power of 4 or to the power of 3 plus p to the power of 4 or to the power of 2 then instead of this 36 we are going to have minus 27 then we have minus 9 is equals to 0 because 3 to the power of 3 is 27 and 3 to the power of 2 is 9 that's why we are splitting down this 36 into this form so right now let's rearrange this whole equation we are going to have p to the power of 4 or to the power of 3 minus 27 then we have plus p to the power of 4 or to the power of 2 minus 9 is equals to 0 now let's continue in the next slide so let's write it down here we have p to the power of 4 or to the power of 3 minus instead of 27 we can have 3 to the power of 3 plus here we have p to the power of 4 or to the power of 2 then minus instead of 9 we're going to have 3 to the power of 2 and this is equals to 0. So right now let's make use of these identities so if we have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is simply equals to we have a minus b and we have a squared plus a b then we have plus b squared that is for the first one and let's consider this also identity we have a squared minus b squared is now equals to because of this second part we have a minus b times a plus b now let's fix in these things into this particular equation so we are going to have b to the power of 4 minus for the first one here b and b is 3 so we have times a squared which is b to the power of 4 or to the power of 2 then we have plus a b which is 3 times b to the power of 4 then we have plus b squared which is 3 to the power of 2 which is 9 then we have plus the whole of this that means we are going to express it in this form a is b to the power of 4 then we have minus b which is 3 then we have times a again which is b to the power of 4 plus 3 and this is equals to 0 so right now we have b to the power of 4 minus 3 here and we have b to the power of 4 minus 3 here we can factor that out. So we have p to the power of 4 minus 3. Then we have into what are we going to have left here? So we're going to have p to the power of 4. Then or to the power of 2 plus 3 times p to the power of 4. And we have p to the power of 4 because there is a plus sign here. So we're going to have 4 times p to the power of 4. Then we have plus 9 plus what we have here, 3. And this is going to give us 12. This is equals to 0. So let's continue in the next slide. So we're going to have p to the power of 4 minus 3 into. Then we're going to have p to the power of 4 or to the power of 2. If you make use of that identity, let me write it here. 
p to the power of 4 or to the power of 2 is simply p to the power of 8 if you multiply these exponents. So this place will give us p to the power of 8. So we have plus 4 times p to the power of 4 plus 12 and this is equals to 0. So this is this was just for illustration. Now let's equate each of these to be equals to 0. So we have p to the power of 4 minus 3 is equals to 0. Or we have p to the power of 8 plus 4 times p to the power of 4 plus 12 is equals to 0. Now let's start with this one. If p to the power of 4 minus 3 is equals to 0, that means we are going to have p to the power of 4 equals to 3. And if p to the power of 4 equals to 3, how can we solve for p? That means p is equals to, if you multiply this exponent by 1 over 4, we're going to have p of to the power of 4 times 1 over 4 is equals to 3 to the power of 1 over 4. So 1 over 4 multiplying this 4 will cancel the 4. So you're going to have p is equals to 3 to the power of 1 over 4. So this is the value for p, one of the solutions for p. Now we are going to solve this to find the other values of p. So let's continue here. We have p to the power of 8 plus 4 times p to the power of 4. We have plus 12 is equals to 0. Now we can rewrite this p to the power of 8 as how it was before. So we have p to the power of 4 or to the power of 2 plus 4 times p to the power of 4 plus 12 is equals to 0. And we can say let y equals to p to the power of 4. So this will give us y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equals to 0. And this becomes a quadratic equation and we are going to solve this using the formula method. We have y equals to negative b plus or minus. We have root of b squared minus 4ac or divided by 2a. And here we are going to have a to be equals to 1, b to be equals to 4, and we have c to be equals to 12. Now this y now becomes negative 4 plus or minus root of 4 squared, that is b squared, that is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 12, that is 48, divided by 2 times a, that is 2 times 1, that is 2. And we have y to be equals to negative 4 plus or minus 16 minus 48 is actually negative 32, so we have 32. And because of that negative, we have an imaginary number i, all divided by 2. Now, let's proceed in the next slide. So here we have y is equals to negative 4 plus or minus 32 times i all divided by 2. And we can actually simplify this 32 times i. This can be equals to negative 4 plus or minus. Instead of 32, i we can write square root of 16 times 2. Then we have times i all divided by 2. And this is equals to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. We have 4 root of 2. Then times i all divided by 2. So we have y to be equals to negative 4 plus or minus 4 root of 2 times i divided by 2. So 2 will divide the whole of this. You're going to have this is equals to negative 2 plus or minus 2 root of 2 times i. And this is the value of y. There, there are actually two because we have positive and negative. Now recall. Recall that y is equal to p to the power of 4. That means negative 2 plus or minus 2 root of 2 times i is equal to p to the power of 4. So if we multiply this by 1 over 4 and multiply this by 1 over 4 that means 
we're going to have p because this exponent if you multiply the 4 by 1 over 4 it will cancel the 4 so you're going to have p to be equals to negative 2 and we have plus or minus 2 root of 2 times i and this is to the power of 1 over 4 so to write out the values for p we have p equals to let's start with the first one we have 3 to the power of 1 over 4 and we have p to be equals to also this second value we have negative 2 plus or minus we have 2 times root of 2 then we have times i so these are the possible values for p and at this point we have come to the end of the lesson please don't forget to subscribe like the video share with your friends and click on the notification icon for update thank you and goodbye